Hello everybody, this is Weird Relics, and I'm going to show you how to do a proper green screen in Sony Vegas 8. Okay, so what you need to do first is you need to import your media, which I have it right here, and if you don't know how to do that, you go over to this little folder here, and open it up, and you can just, you know, choose your videos, choose your photos, choose whatever. And, um, okay, so let's get to it. You need to take your first image of what you want the background to be, which I want this to be of a deer chasing a cross country runner and you'll stick that in the video overlay section and here's what I recorded earlier in Halo 2 of just you know a basic green screen going on or white screen whatever you want to call it and um okay so let's insert that into the top um alright I'm gonna make this image fit that and as you can tell, we're going to need to crop this. So, yeah, let's go into pan crop. Can I make that better on him? To where he's just purely white, pretty much. And now we're going to go in the video FX, from a here, green screen, and stick it on there. Then you take this, go over here, to where you see the image. Click on that, and as you can see, there he is. Now, me, now, you may be wondering what all this stuff is around him. If you get rid of that, you go to low threshold, and you just minus that out. Sometimes you want to have a little bit of it, just to make it look more like a cutout, or not so fake. And you can also do high threshold, don't really know what that does. <laughs> or you can do blur, which makes him look more like a ghost. But we're going to use this tiny bit of a blur just to make it look like he's actually there. And you can also do the show the mask only, which will turn him um like just show the mask of himself. We're not gonna do that though, so okay so now let's see what we got. And as you can see he's green screened in there, but he walks off the screen. So how can we make that follow him? Well, the answer is you go into event pan crop and you keep going on the little screen right here you can use the buttons the arrow buttons to get time precision here and um... when he starts to walk off the screen add a keyframe right here then go to where he stops and then move it now what's also amazing here is that you can enlarge it to make it smaller or make it the box smaller to make them larger. We're going to do this just about medium, about right there. So let's see how it came out. Now as you can tell that's a bit kind of corny there, but hell you know and um, if you just wanted him walking in like casually you can delete these keyframes alright and you can try and judge where he's gonna be so he's, if he's gonna be right there then you're gonna wanna move the keyframe in that sort of area or move the box I mean Let's see how he does. He walks right in there. Let's say that we want him human size. As I said, just go ahead and use the arrow buttons to make him smaller. And okay, let's see what we got it came out with. Okay, not that bad. Kind of laggy. But as of right now, you should be know how to do a pretty basic green screen. Alright, I'm Skyler. AKA Weird Relics for TSEF tutorials, and thanks for watching.